guys so um today i just wanted to pop on and do a quick video uh about my planner and like what's in my planner oh hang on guys are you in facing down okay i have like a whole bunch of happy planners if you guys know me at all or have watched any of my videos from the past like you all know that i have a crap ton of happy planner supplies and stickers and just everything because i'm obsessed and i have a problem but i had received this in the mail uh, a couple of days ago and this is the louis vuitton desk agenda and i had a classic size happy planner that was my desk agenda that was just bursting at the seams and I also had my budget, um, my budget video, video, oh my gosh, guys, budget book, my budget book, my happy planner budget book. I will get it out in a second that I was using. And then, you know, I've got my mini planner that I keep in my purse. So I kind of just wanted to find a way to make all of my planners into one thing. Um, kind of break it up into categories. So that's kind of what I did. I'm still going to have my mini planner in my purse. Because you know while I'm out and about. This is uh, too large just to throw in my bag to run to the store or something. But, um, but while I'm at my desk and when I'm doing my work and things. Like I just need everything to be in one place. So I'm not having to fumble around or grab this book or grab that book. Uh, so I... I broke this down into sections. This is not 12 months of stuff in here. Please excuse my dirty ass nails, guys. Your girl's been out playing in the dirt. Um, tomorrow's my birthday, so happy early birthday to me. So I've been out trying to get my backyard in order because you know I'm gonna be having a party and things. So I just want everything to be clean, but I'm not clean, so. But you know, moving on. Sorry, you all know if you watch my videos, you all know that I like to talk. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to rush through this and hurry, 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 and all that good junk. Uh, so we're not taking forever. Okay, guys. So let's open this bad boy up. I don't know. Everyone calls theirs like a her or whatever. I think bad boy. Okay. Anyway, let me see if I can get this. Okay, guys. So, I uh, made me some dashboards. Um, this is my cover dashboard, which is not a good angle. But, oh, there we go. See how pretty that is, guys? Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. That's my cover page. And then, like, I just got some post-it notes stacked on the back there. I made a dashboard for my little dog, Maddox. Um, that literally almost looks like him. Uh, just, you know, some sticky notes on the back. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can make that a little bit better for you all. I don't know if maybe turning it this way. Anyway, so the first section, you open it up, there's my cover board. And then, like, I have his dashboard. And I'm gonna use these dashboards as just, like, note places, like, where I can just go to, okay, I know I need to buy dog food, or I know I need to do this or do that. So, it'll be all on that particular dashboard. This one is just holding more, um, notepad paper if I need a quick note, which is the princess crown, and then, like, Belle's flower thing from Beauty and the Beast. This is my April dashboard. And then, you know, it's got my April layout, like my goals and like what I saved and just little notes of things that I needed to do or, or not forget. And then since April, this is the last day in April, I just only have uh, this one and these two pages here. And then, you know, I this was a happy planner, um, like bookmark and dashboard thingy. So what I did, I put some washi tape up and down it, a couple layers, so it'd be nice and sturdy, and just repunched it so that I could fit it into these rings. And then I also trimmed it down and gave it a nice little curve here so it looks, you know, like you bought it like that, but it, I made it. 
and then added a tab up here over top of the little tab because this little tab was a little bit too small couldn't really see it by my pages so I just popped on a new tab and wrote today so this will be always on you know, whatever day it is so I know right where to turn to um so the first part of my planner that I'm showing you is just going to be I'm going to keep one month at a time in here and so obviously tomorrow's May my birthday is May 1st happy birthday to me and so I put May like this is just the last two pages of April um but then you flip and then here is May's dashboard it's this pretty like empreinte leather empreinte I don't know anyway it's like an impression in the leather empreinte I don't know if I'm saying that right but I love this blue color so I thought this was really pretty so I made a dashboard out of it and then took a happy planner sticker and just put it up here and made it like a little tab so I could see it and then just like on the other one I made the back of my dashboard my go-to place that tells me all of my things that I need to focus on for the month of May and then because it is my birthday month like the whole month it's just done up in awesome stickers and like summary stuff and y'all know if you've seen any of my videos before you know how much I love the ocean so got lots and lots of like ocean decals in here for the month of May um yeah so this is just I'm going to show you my walk through and then I went ahead and just filled in things that I already knew that was be you know to fill in like doctor's appointments or like work schedules or YouTube videos, Etsy orders, things like that. So, um, but I just wanted to kind of share how I did my new planner layout because I typically will just have a planner from like January to December and then add in like a page here or a page there when I need a note or when I need to write a list or something like that. Um, so, I'm gonna change it up. I'm doing something different. So for the rest of the year, the only thing that's gonna be in my planner is going to be whatever month that I'm in, like just one month at a time. And then that is my first section, like my monthly planner is in the first section. Moving on to section two. This is uh, notes and I made a pretty dashboard and then wrote notes up here, took a sticker, made a tab so it would stick up. Um, and this is my notes. So section two is for notes. Also has um, little pads of paper here for when I need to jot something down. And then I took my notes out of my happy planner and all I did was scan and copy them in and then reprint them on a five size paper. Um, so that's what I did there. And this is the Disney princess themed note paper. And I have a crap ton of it. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do that. And then, you know, like I did the back as well. So like we got um, Tiana and Belle. So that's my note section. And then we move on to my budget section, which is my third section. And again, I made me an awesome little dashboard, made a tab up here so I know what, you know, where I'm at in my planner. And then on the back of my dashboard, um, I use regular note sized paper to make these little like sticky note papers. And then all I did for that, I used some double sided tape and a pad of this little paper and then I just used um you know stuck them on there and then layered them so like you know I can have like a little book of flip through a paper and so this is we're on section three my budget and what I did I purposely printed out my paper one-sided so that I could decorate you know throughout my budget section because when I scanned my budget sheets from my happy planner in down to an A5 size that didn't leave a whole lot of room for decoration and you guys know that I love my stickers and I love to decorate so I purposely printed them out one-sided and so you know I can do that 
So then as you flip on in, this is May's uh, budget. And I have my little note section still over here. This side got a little bit cut off, but not bad. Um, the box is still big enough to write like my bills or whatever I need to put in there. And then when you flip, again, like I left it blank here so I could decorate. And then on this side, it's set up just like my Happy Planner budget book because all I did was just scan in May and June's because I like to do my bills um, two months ahead. So um, here's the saving and tracking page. You know, you write your stuff down, whatever you're saving and tracking for. You flip and then I left that side blank so it's nice and pretty. And then this is where you put your bills in. Uh, just, you know, if you have a budget book from Happy Planner, you know what I'm talking about. It's, that's all it is. And then the back sides of the paper I left blank so that I could put in some stickers. I had a lot of these really big um, stickers, Happy Planner stickers, because they were, I'm assuming, made for like the larger, big um, planners, but I don't have that. I've just got the classic. So they were a little bit large for that, so I was happy when I came up with this idea. You know, it gave me an excuse to use some of my larger stickers. And so as you just flip on through and then you kind of go into your weekly, like, week one, week two of your expenses and how much you spent. And then you've got your notes section down here. So moving on from that, and yes, every each back of the page is decorated because you know me, I just think it's pretty. That was May's, and then I made a dashboard right here for to split up May and June's budget page. And then on the back of this, there's just some note paper in case I need to write a list for the store or like figure out my bills. I have that. And then you move straight on into um, the month of June for that, you know, for that budgeting for, for June. Uh, so nothing special there. It's just like May. I decorated all the backs of the pages. So we'll move on from that so we don't take forever. Okay, and then in the back of my budget section, I went ahead and did another dashboard right here and then put money stickers here at the top. And then, so this section is only for my budgeting stickers because I wanted them at easy access versus, you know, all my other stickers. So this little section alone is just for uh, my budget section. Like, it's all of my bills, uh, my savings stickers, my dollar stickers. Anything dealing with budgeting, it's here. And all I did for that, guys, I took a single piece of my paper. It's like this right here. This was a mess up that I was printing on. It's an A5 size paper. And all I did was just put it in there and then take my stickers and some double-sided tape and just attach them just at the top so that I could flip it up and stick in another one, flip it up, stick in another one, so that I have layers of stickers that I need or that I use quite often. And you can do it all the way to the bottom and you get quite a bit of stickers on one page, front and back, and that's what I did. Again, you just take your tape and you put it at the top and then you layer. So these are my budgeting stickers and they are in right behind my budget papers so I can keep track of my bills. This section right here is for stickers. It says most used stickers. And then I just took all of my favorite stickers, the ones that I find myself using the most, um, they're here. I don't have to dig through my sticker organizer back here behind me. I don't have to, you know, put them all in my purse and try to figure out where they're at. Like I made a section just for the most used stickers and then again i just made this dashboard and i took a happy planner sticker up here at the top to make a tab so that it would stick up past the pages so i know where stuff's at and then on the back i just have some stickers here like my work schedule stickers and some rainbow stickers um and then you we i have this one labeled tabs because that's what i call these kind of stickers like tab stickers just boxes that you can write in 
or you know stick somewhere because you need an icon for something i call those tabs i don't know what you might call them that's what i call them so again i did the same thing piece of paper and some tape and just layered tons of stickers on these pages but they will be gone soon because as i plan they typically will be empty and then i'll have to put more in but that's okay so most of this planner right now is full excuse me agenda is full of stickers and just one month of actual planner paper um so this is my quote section i made another little tab up here for to do favorite quotes and stickers that say things, you know, that I like to put in there and just remind myself that I'm beautiful and that people loves me and that I love everybody else. And then that's it. Um, so far, that's it, guys. So I, what I did, I just took my planner and I separated it into different sections so that I didn't have to be pulling, okay, I need this book or I need that book or I need this sticker or I need this pack of stickers. I made my desk agenda an everything agenda just you know for the time being because things is getting a little chaotic and I was losing track of things I just felt like I didn't want to sit and plan anymore so this is a big deal to me like absolutely a big deal oh hang on guys I'm trying to get my chair situated okay so yeah, that's all I did. I just took my my happy planner pages that I was using out of all of my other books and just copied them into the computer and then just printed them back out on regular A5 size paper, which y'all can get on a huge pack, like a big old pack on Amazon for like 12 bucks. I think I paid it. I'm, shoot, there may even be cheaper than that on there. That's just the first thing I ran across. But that's still a good deal. I mean, it was a big old thick pack, almost like as thick as a uh, a pack of copying paper. And they were already pre-punched. They already had the holes in them. So all you have to do is just pop them in your printer and hit print and then stick it in your agenda uh, or your planner or whatever. Um, so yeah, that was, I just wanted to do a quick video and share with you guys how I, um, did my planner instead of having i'm sorry guys i'm getting a phone call instead of having just one whole big planner of you know from january to december and then just sticking in okay i need to insert a page here insert a page there i just went ahead and took out all of the months except for the month that we are currently on or going to be on and um, just kind of went from there. And if anybody's interested in these dashboards, um, they I just went on Google and like saved pretty wallpapers for my computer and phone and then just liked them well enough to just go ahead and print them out and um, laminate them. And I printed them on copy paper so that they would be thick. They're very thick and very durable. Um, so I suggest if you want to make some dashboards and you, there's a picture or a design that you like, go for it. Just print it out, um, on copy paper, like some really thick cardstock or copy paper, and then just laminate it and voila, you have a cute dashboard that also works and doubles as a workspace so that you can put extra things there. Or you can put photos or whatever you want on it. They they really do come in handy. Um, so yeah, guys, this is it. Like I just took my agenda and I took most of everything else out of it and just put, replaced it in sections and you know, which made sense to me. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in a few days for my cash stuffing video. If you're new and you just stopped by and seen me for the first time, hi, it's nice to meet you. If you are a returning person, hey, what's up? And I love all, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.